So how's everybody doing today? A um, little bit of a maintenance thing. I'm gonna change out uh, this main broom, main barrel broom on this sweeper today. Um, not really a big deal, but I figured I'd show you how it's done. So first thing we gotta do is we gotta unbolt this arm right here. Uh, there's two bolts, one there, one there, and then three on the flange for the drive, or I don't know if that's like an idler flange or whatever they call it, but anyway, so there's three bolts on there, uh, two there, one down below, and then this arm will come off. We come over here to the other side, and you've got the same three bolts in there, and that arm will be unbolted. So once that's unbolted, we uh, roll this back and pull it out the side. So you got to turn this all the way to the left, to uh, or the right, however you want to look at it. But it's left turn because it's rear steer. So you got the extra room to kind of get that out. And then we gotta shove the new one in and put it back on. So pretty simple. If you're wondering how it's done, that's how you do it. You can stop watching now. If you want to watch me struggle, you can watch me struggle. Let's begin. So these are all three quarter inch bolts. on there. I'll just leave that on there for now. This side over here has a drive chain on it, so this side, that's why this side stays on. I can see that. Got like a tapered cone in there. So we gotta get these drive things out because the replacement one is just a just a tube in there, so these gotta come out. In case you're all wondering kind of what it looks like under here. So you got the big drum. It's basically the side drums there. They kick the stuff from the, the curb into the road and then this big broom here sweeps it up onto that conveyor belt and that conveyor belt runs and it lifts everything up into the back side of this drum or not drum but the back side of this box so it comes up and dumps right into the box this whole box here dumps um, it probably goes back to about there so it just fills up dumps in there this thing will lift up and i think you can either dump it forward i don't know if you can dump it out of the hole of the box but right down there's a the latch this front here will open up and it can kind of dump out that way it'll lift up and then rotate forward and dump so that's kind of how those work
not exactly sure how this comes off. All right, that drum goes all the way through. So I loosened up what I think is the clamps on the other side. I'm gonna take this plate off this end. See if it goes all the way through and if it comes off then. That'd be nice. It's got a lot of, I've probably been beating out marks all over it. So. I think we're going in the right direction. Yep, that's how you do it. I'm gonna need an extension. So it's a little different than I thought it was. It's just these ends. So, and two. As you can see, I don't know if I can just grab it and kind of wiggle it out. Oh yeah. And there's that. That looks a little like an axle. A lot more room in there.
All right, so I stick this arm on before I kind of push it in. I think it'll make it a little bit easier to get those bolts on and off, or get the bolts on by doing it out here. So I put some never sees on that little tapered cone in there and cleaned it up what was in there before I did that. So now all I gotta do is shove the bigger brush back in. Once I get it in, you see the three bolts on this side, and the two bolts on that, and it should be good. So, I got that kind of thought over there. I'll put those three bolts in and uh, I'll do the two on the other side. So that's about how you do that, in case you're wondering. Um, if you want, I'll give you a little, little tour of the inside. You want a dirty vehicle, you drive a sweeper. So generally, you're going to drive this thing from the right side because you're going to be looking out the window. 
at the uh, broom there. You got this bubble window, so when you have it up, you can kind of see out. Be up like that when it's not filthy dirty. They got a wheel on both sides, depending on how you want to drive it. Um, it was kind of awkward one day. I got a ride out to uh, a job we were doing. <laughs> I was sitting in the left side there, and I wasn't driving. <laughs> it was kind of weird. <laughs> but anyway, so brake pedal, uh, hydrostatic drive generally. So forward goes forward, backwards goes backwards, kind of like that, forward, backwards. That's how it moves. It's a little weird with the rear steer. You more kind of orbit around things than steer. Takes a little getting used to. So you got emergency brake. High low neutral. Um, power takeoff, engage, disengage. That's probably for all the belts and stuff. Water system, valves, depending on what side you want to sit on. So these are your controls for the uh, the hopper. So you got this is up and down and then roll back and roll forward to dump it. Uh, conveyor, conveyor, run it forward, run it backwards. Um, left side broom, raise and lower left side broom. Right side broom, raise and lower, and then raise and lower the main broom that we just changed. So you got other things like switches for your wipers, headlights, beacon, hazard, cold start, uh, probably ether injection or something. Um, shutdown override. So when you start this, you have to hold the shutdown override on, start it, and then let go. Uh, broom lights, high beam, and then broom lights. So you got your controls, speedometer. Uh, well, that's the RPM. That's how you keep track of your ripums and your miffs. Um, yeah, oil pressure, hydraulic, temperature. Um, so this is broom height. That is actually, I believe, broken. These are on both sides. There's a, there's a little. Um, sensor that's on the side that has an arm on it that tells where your uh the broom height is so yeah you got broom height over there broom height here this is probably your middle and then right broom so coolant temperature fuel temperature radio air conditioning and speaker for the radio so you got an air conditioning set up up here um big blower And a bunch of dirt. And dust. Cup holders. Two cup holders. And that's about that. So, yeah. Uh, this is chain driven. So you get chains that drive the front. Uh, I believe it's got kind of like our actual like, truck axle in the middle here. And then the chains run down and drive that. Uh, the broom's chain driven. Newer ones are all hydraulic and stuff. This is, this is like, I think this is a 96 or a 94. It's pretty old. Um, yeah, what has it got? 4,200 hours on it. Not really a lot. 7,300 miles going two. It goes faster if you're like going down the road, but generally you're just kind of. So, anyway, that's that. So, hope that can help somebody. Thanks for watching.